You ain't getting up for breakfast? No. You're like a breakfast girl type of thing to me. Usually. Yeah, me, I don't eat breakfast. No. I, I do try to do one or two meals a day, but I still eat one meal a day. Start off with a nice cup of Hennessy or coffee. One meal a day. Got to get it like 9 a.m. Yeah? Yeah. I don't believe Early. Early. You heard what Drake said, yo. Drake. Can't drink all day. He ain't make it 10 seconds in before he mentioned another girl. start in the morning. Thing. For breakfast. Is that the boy? Yeah, hi, I'm Cheyenne. Cheyenne. Academics or Big Act, as they call uh, it. Big Act. Come on now, Big Act. Oh, is it? Why do I call you Big Act? Well, well, they call me Big Act, really. I call myself though. Big Act. I'm going to tell you the truth. You know, a lot of people don't really know why that moniker came into place. But, you know, I always tell people, it's like, it's about your inner confidence. You know, yeah. I think everybody should be very confident about what they're doing, especially right. when you work hard at it. So, with me. That's what true strength is. True strength is being your 100% authentic self and standing behind everything you say and do. That's true strength. You know, it was a, it was a time when I was doing nah, I put a lot of work in the music industry, and I feel like people were just disrespecting. So, you know, at a certain point, you got you, you got to stop letting people disrespect you. You got to let people know what it is. So, yeah. Big Act is just really a moniker. You know, what I mean, it's not nothing right. really. We all, we all seen him on his uh, his Joe Budden days. To do with just ego or just like feeling <laughs> I'm bigger than anybody else, but to let people know that yo, I am who I am. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's, it's not only just unique for me it's unique for everybody like yeah. i like that but i think as i was like the only person that's going to big you up really is you so it's kind of like fact. give yourself that credit so it's like yeah i am that's not I am true. A shit. or whatever the world is going to beat you down i say you'll be the first person to big you up but how you carry yourself through the world uh, i think they call it aura nowadays but depend on how other people treat you if you command respect you'll be given respect it's that simple. Treat yourself like a king. People will treat you like one. You know what I mean? So, like, I mean, it's done it to me a lot of times. So, you know, for you to make it in this world, ain't nobody really going to be in your corner. Like, sometimes you got to be the delusional motherfucker who's going to get yeah. there on your, on your own. So, I, I, I'm, I'm a person who's, you know, I've been drunk on ambition uh, ambition before i ever been drunk off the Hennessy. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, uh, I had to believe in myself when everybody else didn't believe. Right? You know, people were saying... I would tell them my goals and my dreams, and they would snicker and be like, it was all good. So, does, you know, bro. when it's coming to pass, and everything's reasons. working. It's hard to keep pausing, but I'm dropping gems right now. There's two reasons people do that. The big one is jealousy, envy. When you're trying to strive for greatness, you make other people look in the mirror, and they see that they're not doing shit. And they start to resent you for that. They start to resent you because you're, you're breaking the... You're breaking the comfy life they're living. They're comfortable doing nothing. They're fine with it. But once they see you not comfortable with it, it makes them feel bad. And, or they could just be like your parents. And like, man, it's so risky. You don't do that. Just go to school. You know, <laughs> Either or. You know when I tell people that I say I, I'm big act, it's because I did it. Yeah. Either or, you know, bro. it's just pure self-belief. And it's not only for me, it's for you, too. Because so I can tell... Gonna, you, you know, from everything I've seen about you, you're right, driven you just in, in go to school. You know what I mean? You just go to school. Thank you. So, I like that. Thank you very much. Aw. See, like, he's actually, like, a nice, genuine guy. So, tell me a bit about yourself. Uh, well, me, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, on a personal level, I'm a guy consumed at work. So, mm -hmm. it, it, like, my personal life happens to involve my work. So I'm one of those driven people who just really believe that fun happens while I'm doing the things I love to do, which some people might consider work. I don't consider work. Yeah. So, you know, uh, you know, okay. early on before I ever got into this, I went to school. I was, I was a, a mathematics, uh, you know, major. I just knew eventually right. I wasn't going to be the guy working in a lab. So, like, I, I kind of became an entrepreneur. So, really, I always tell people this. The moment I started to do what I wanted to do, I felt like nowadays. I never worked a day in my life. Yeah. So, like, I'm the person who, like, I'm still feeling like I'm on, like, a... <laughs> it's, I'm floating on a cloud. Yeah. So, in, in reality, you know, I'm a guy who works a lot. And, you know, when it comes to, like, personal relationships, 
that's probably the thing that's going to either deter you or probably really make you attractive to me because I'm going to be the guy who's, hey, if, 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 if there's a goal to be gotten, I'm going to get there. You better get it. But if you're the person who's like, nah, well, really, I just want a guy who I could just waste time with and he's just going to be always available, probably won't be the guy for you. Yeah. You get what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, I, I've learned that about knows. myself over time, but, um, you know, there's, there's a medium where you could be also driven chasing your goals and your dreams, but also be able to uh, have a healthy relationship with someone else who it's, maybe also driven answer. as well, or it's at least maybe answer. trying to add to what you got going on. Yeah, it's like complementing each other, and it's yeah. about balance and then learning to compromise. So can really you compromise? Busy. About what, though? I know how you feel. In a relationship. <sighs> about what? Like... Say you're going out a lot for work, a lot of late yeah, night yeah. events, hosting, and whatever you've got a personal appearances. If I was like, look, I need you just to be home for a little bit more, like, would you compromise that? I mean, uh, yeah, no, still, because like, but like this, when you meet me, you're gonna meet me on the go. Sorry, every relationship you need compromise. Right. So, if you want me to kind of like tone it down, I'm usually thinking that yo, and, and this this is my issue, and when it comes to dating. It's a big thing for me. There's a lot of women out here who are used to bums. I don't want no woman who who's gonna use to what the the bum guy is gonna give you. Oh, he's always here for me. He's cuddling with me 24/7. That's not me. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's when I want to have movie night with See, him. See, this is cool in the sense of yeah, you doing what you need to do and shit. At the same time, you have to understand that you are a bad boyfriend if this is your point of view which is might be okay you might not give a fuck but you're not good to be in a relationship just don't be in a relationship <laughs> no I gotta, I'm chasing the bag I'm chasing I'm, I'm trying to get to greatness I'm trying to be a billionaire compromise. you know what I mean like a, a lot of women say they want that life but they don't really want it yeah I think it comes at a cost I think because we all say we want this we want the nice house we want the designer bag or I don't but a lot of women say that you like and the I kind designer of bag stuff no I don't not yet you I don't wanna, like the designer no, bag no not yet I like to look at them but not yet I feel like it's I want to I'm not lying. I want to. I want to buy a house, buy a property, and everything first. Then Every the flags come up. Every likes to design a bag. Yeah, but I think it comes at a time in your life. I think I'm not senseless. So is this like a real day, or is this like a fucking interview? What in the, the sense of like, I'm not going to just get materialistic things until I've got like bricks and water and I've got a home. You know, I think that's what we need to aspire for first before you get the bags. Can I just say I do not own a single designer handbag, not one, and no, I'm not lying. But ultimately, I think, as women, we okay. forget that if you want this kind of man, ask. that it comes at a cost, and that cost is not having you there, not being present, and I kind of feel sometimes you can lose yourself as a woman because you really want that, and then it's more, is it the lifestyle you I'm want than no essentially the person? Here. Yeah. You know, so I no, think, no, 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 no. is that hard for you when it comes to dating? Do you find, how do you know someone like for you for you like or date. you for your lifestyle? That's just a great question because I only know over time. Okay. I, I go with the motto, if somebody don't fuck with me, it's a problem with them. So, you know what I mean? I think, unfortunately, I had to come to the UK to try to find a baddie because in, in the US, it's tough, it's slim pickings out there, man. Slim pickings. You know, Passport, bro. Slim pickings for who? I, I wish I could be like, yo, you know, I got a little crystal ball and I could tell. You know, they, you know, they make fun of y'all passport bros. You know that, right? In Japan, I forget the name. They have a name for y'all. They, they call you, they can't get girls in America, so they come over here. They know they know what you look like. You know, you got to come to London to really they're come meet stupid. you, right? Mm -hmm. you know, in, in, in America, it's like people, their their idea of dating is they have skewed, they, like, you know, metrics. You. Usually, you it's can't really ticket. tell if someone it's really food. likes you for you or they like you for what you're doing or what you're bringing to the table. But that's the thing with dating. Like, you know, you're taking a chance. I'm taking a chance by even sitting here being vulnerable with you. Yeah, for real. You know, right? Because at the end of the day, now I got to have some type of connection with you to move on. But uh, you might be using that to weaponize against me. You yeah. might be using it on this date to size me up. Like, yo, look at the jewelry. Look at what he got going on. Okay, this guy is the guy. Yeah. I'm thinking, yo, she's feeling me. Yeah, but this is the thing, though. I think, like, when you come just That's like... Why. You shouldn't need these chains. You shouldn't need the expensive clothes to get a girl. You should be able to do that with nothing on. That, it's a lot easier for women to target you, if that it's makes sense. Because yeah. it's like, when you, know you want to come with your chains, come with your nice watch, it's a lot easier for women to be like, oh, he's got money, let me go for him. 
So do you think ever like yeah, would you a ever? A lot of girls will look at a dude like that and be like, "That's all he has to offer." <laughs> Let me go get the bag real quick. <laughs> go out just without the chains, without the watches, without the rings. Me and my mom have this question. Corny like when we argue about it, I can't. I don't meet regular women. I don't. I don't meet women who know me in a vacuum without they knowing me as a personality and a celebrity. So how do you date in that vacuum, right? Like, how, how do you date when people already know who you are to some extent? Yeah. So again, I, I'm playing like the, I'm playing like a catch up. Yeah. Okay. Even if you're, you're doing a good job, like acting, I'm like, yo, hopefully I could see the telltale signs or like the red flag to see if you want me for the wrong reasons. But I'm gonna be honest with you. There's been many times I've been with people who I thought wanted me for the right reasons that they wanted me for the wrong reasons. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm telling you, his drip and everything is his personality trait. I get a little bit. What did I just say? What did I just say? Jaded. Yeah. So when I meet a woman, I'm money. like, you know, I always look at it. I'm like, yo, your my real name is Livingston Allen. <laughs> like, y'all want Livingston. Y'all want academics. Y'all want big act. I get it. So it's almost like a, it's a detachment thing. So now, like, even with us sitting here, I'm wondering if we weren't here, cameras aren't on, I mean, you just walking down the street. You give me a chance or not? No, do you know what? It's, it's a hard one. I personally, you know I'd like to say I'd give you a chance, but I know my reality, and I think for a lot of women, the reality is we get hounded on the street all the time, like at least five times a day when you're stepping out. A man comes over to you so sort of i do personally give a regular regular men a chance do yes i do no, no i do i much prefer it because i think when you get you, give a, you give a regular guy a chance yeah stop it i'm not lying why don't you believe her uh she projecting right now they do i don't stop it i'm not lying hell no listen if she see me walking down the street right now walking into domino's uh, yeah all right Listen, I couldn't do nothing to get her attention. You know what I mean? So, I know yeah, women like that. You know? Oh my God! You can tell he had no game before the. Fame. I mean, they, they tell you no game before the fame, and no game before the fame. They want a regular guy, but truth be told, if I don't come present like this, change, watch everything, no chance. You get what I mean? But of course, they won't give you the humble vibe until they get a little bit more in depth with you, and then, you know, it's a highway robbery. It's always like that. They say I was getting these shows like before I was you. booking these shows. Yes. Let me tell you this. You know, I realized in, in, in my 30 plus years on this earth, mm -hmm. the prettiest faces has the most lies. That is, no. Are you Trust saying I'm pretty? You know, you're a pretty woman. You know what I mean? I, Who hurt like, Firstly. Who hurt you, Ag, man? I'm Who offended you? because you're saying a liar. But secondly, you call me pretty. Aww. Like, like you're a beautiful girl. But behind the beauty, it's a facade. That's where all the lies land. That's where all the manipulation is. Because that's the shit that, you, for men, we only see that. We don't really get beyond the surface. He was bullied in school, and he's definitely taking revenge out on women. See? Told ya. Yeah. You're not giving, like, you're not walking out there and seeing a guy who's maybe can't even... Actually, you need to listen, bro. He's speaking from his experience. This is, why, this is where men and women disconnect. He's speaking his experience. His experience is just as true as you saying you give the average man a try. It's just as true, bro. Before he had this chain, before he had this, you know, he would try to talk to a girl. It ain't work out, apparently. And now this is where his resentment comes from. Pay your cell phone bill. You're not trying to give that guy a chance. Stop it. He's no, projecting but I, right wait, now. But I, I might. I might. Like, I, for me, I like things on a no, deeper won't. level. Yes, I would. But I feel like it's, it's easy to assume that because I think a lot of men, when they see a woman Listen, that's attractive or whatever, enough. they think, oh, Never in a million years, but I I, there's a lot really of women do. out there that do just like normal chill guys. And as well, a fact, since I've been like, you know, in the industry, mixing with people and I'm rolling in certain circles, it's actually the guy that has the normal nine to five is the guy that's going to be humble and treat you better. You're not dating that guy. Hey, let, let, let yes, me tell you. Yes, I am. You know, truth be told, and, and you see, I'm always honest about my whole journey in life. When I got popular, I got a facelift. The woman who I was trying to talk to before, before I got popular, never gave me a chance. No the, the, what, what, this is reality. You know, in life, we all have like a level and a caliber. You know, people trying to be delusional. 
Like me, I'm real realistic. You just said so you had to if be I seen earlier. you, whether it was like on the street in a club, I seen you say we went to high school together. Man, you going for the athletes? You a cute girl? You not dating the guy who's I was a book nerd. No, that's a fact. No, you're not dating. No. Come on, yes, gotta, no, you know what it is, but I think. Like, that's where I'd have to dis disagree. Like, a lot of women will go for the athletes, but it's... Not you. No, because it's You're like... the exception. Yeah, okay. I am the exception. This is where we have to be honest. People... <laughs> he said people like her, so like eights and hires. They're only going to go for the athletes, which would be probably people they would deem eights and hires. Like, <laughs> I don't know. People tend to sure, go because around the it's, range. You want to find the that's guy that's going to treat you right, that have a family he's with He's saying if he's an average dude, why would an eight and higher talk to him? That's what he's saying. Because listen, I've simple, been bro. in circles where the guys, She's like the footballers, that. the athletes, like the artists, like I've been around that and I've seen that because what comes with that comes a lifestyle where women are so disposable. I don't want to be put in this bracket where I'm a disposable woman because I believe I've got a lot to offer. So why am I going to put myself there? Here's where I find the problem with a lot of women, right? They wait till they hit that proverbial wall before they start having the realizations. I always tell people, and I tell everybody who follows me, hey, if, all, if you in high school right now and you focused on your studies or whatever else and all them chicks is dissing you, give it five, ten years. They spin back around. But when they spin back around, they got kids, they fell off, they done dated all the dudes who they thought was going to be the guys, but they realized them guys was a shit. So now they're actually going to come back to you. But this is where you also have to, you know, life ain't fair. You got to punish them chicks a little bit too. You know what I mean? So it's like a... He is vindictive. She's right. But like, so it's, you're on like this revenge flex then? Well, I'm not really on the revenge flex. I'm, I'm on a reality flex. No, but it's, tr but it's true though, because it's, it's kind of like bro. you've held this. So like, what, what was it like for you? You said you were, a, you were a nerd in school, book nerd. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's now, obviously, you've got money, you've got fame, like you've got everything going for you. It's kind of like this So revenge. you're not about to, con you're not, no one's about to convince me, even you. We sitting here across each other. If I'm not who I am, we not having a conversation that we are. So now the backbone of the conversation is different as opposed to if I met you before all this. Yeah. You see, women a lot of times, they'll, they'll try to act like, oh, no, no, well, you know, put like this. I use a pop culture reference. Sierra wasn't going for Russell Wilson at first. She was probably telling her girlfriends, yo, that nigga's corny. Mm. Yo, I want, I want him, I want him. Yo, he's a trapper. I want future. That's how most women are. I know you probably say you're the exception, but that's how most women are. Yeah. Let me tell you this. For a lot of the good guys out here, I always say, like, yo, women claim they can't find no good guys, but their standards are too high. Y'all all going for the same 20% of guys. Yeah. Right? Now that I got to change and everything, everybody going for me. Mm -hmm. But they, they, they wouldn't go for the version of me that don't have this. Yeah. That version was, like, yo, the most humble, most loyal, do anything for you. It's like I, I agree and then I disagree. You hear stories all the time about these famous singers get with the security guard like a regular dude, type of person like, you're not going for that you won't admit it that's all about but life shit, life so. shows people that yeah because if i think if most women cognizant you know why he thinks this bro because he only hangs around these miami beach he even said it himself everyone he talks to knows him everyone he talks to the cloud chaser probably Everyone talks to the miami beach fake ass woman when's the last time he talked to a real girl they don't do this shit, bro. Easily um, put on the table what they used to date 10 years ago versus what they date now. They'd be like, yeah, I was going for the scammer, the dude who... Like he'd be like, if I was broke and no money, would you choose me or your your favorite celebrity you had a crush on? What the fuck? If I ask you that same question, what are you going to say? He looked a certain way, but he was like the dope boy who was popular in the city. Now they're looking at the guy who has his, at least in the United States, was called 401k, is like his retirement fund set up. Yeah. Okay, he's about to go get a, a house. He has his finances in order. You know what I mean? He seems like a guy who he's have a family with. You know, women change in the, in the type of person they want. Men, we don't. Like, we always wanted a cute, attractive girl who seems to be loyal. No matter what stage of our life we are, we could be at our brokest. Or we can have the most in life. But women, they'll change it up. 
First, they want to jock the athlete. Then they want the guy who's just like popping in the hood. He got some money. He's a trap boy. You know what I mean? Then they see that dude, he went to jail, or he's balancing five or six girls. Then they start balancing from dudes to dude. Then they settle down with the guy who in high school they would never fuck with. But you know what they said? Hey, listen, I don't... I feel like he's mistaken of what a person is on the inside with what they're portraying themselves. Um, Got three kids by the other dudes. Now I realize my value's been less than a little bit. Women do really fall with who a dude is more than the artificial looks and shit. They do that more than men. Men are way more artificial than women when it comes to, like he just said, all she gotta be is pretty and loyal. That can be any fucking woman. There's nothing deep about that at all. And um, I'm gonna settle for that. So for me, it's not a revenge. It's like, I, I just understand what it is. He was bullied in school and he's definitely taking revenge out on women. See, told ya. Um, so what is it you actually do? So I'm a media personality. Also I run a media company. Um, mostly centered around rap or just the hip hop culture. We try to do more music stuff, but um, that's kind of where my business kind of fits in. You know, okay. how about yourself? I do a lot of stuff behind the scenes as well, but I've always wanted to do like documentaries and stuff like that. But for now, entertainment side, so hosting this show and a couple of other shows. How do you view like maybe somebody who you might be interested in thinking about your profession, right? Like there's a lot of dudes lusting after you. Like, you know, obviously as a woman, you're, you're probably already a sex symbol, but uh, I'm a sex symbol, yeah? Is that what you're saying? Is that a moving, yeah? Now there's a bunch of dudes who are just, it, it's like, they're viewing you in a light that maybe that's not how you are personally. Yeah, I think like, I take it with a pinch of salt because it's hard, it's hard to date in general. I think being in an industry where you are exposed to so many people seeing you and like a lot of men have egos. So it's hard and I understand like, if I'm walking into a room with a guy, and it's just not fair if like men are coming up to me or hi or even just trying to chat or even just looking i know how it like can interfere in a relationship and dynamics like i've had it when i've dated and it's just been very difficult for me to navigate through a career as well as a personal life so it's yeah, if hard I, if i went out with you and i see a bunch of dudes all in you i would just think you're a hoe yeah exactly straight up you know do you still think i'm a hoe well i mean I, I couldn't tell yet i'm gonna be honest I don't why think, do you think that she's a hoe though i don't think she's a hoe but I think she understands her worth, but she knows how to pimp it out. It's like the girls in the United States, man. You know, I, I, like, my, I like my woman kind of reserved, kind of only dealing with uh, one yeah. guy. If a bunch of dudes know your name, that's never good. Yeah, but if it was just work? I mean, the, the difference between work and pleasure for a lot of women is, is a very thin line because it, it's, it's hard to separate work that has to do with the opposite sex for women, especially. So I'm going to think that... You, you go on a lot of dates, like, you fucking some of these niggas, right? Oh, yeah. you talking about these dates? No, none okay. of them. So I'm in the club with you, you know, like, I'm hugged up with you, like, we party, we having a good time, say, you know, you're my girl, whatever, and a bunch of dudes are just hailing you, you don't think that's a problem? No, that's what I mean, I see it being a problem, yeah. but it's not a problem because I'm not exposing myself to them. Yeah, yeah I, I couldn't really rock with her. Like, I'm going to be honest with you, I would have to date her in private because I go to the club with her and everybody hailing her up and, nah, no, <laughs> you know what I mean? Everybody get, yo, you know they got that drink, so, yo, you know that type of hug, they come coming over and giving her that type drink. of hug, like, yeah, I fucked the shit out of you. Nah, I can't go out with her. Me and her, we got to do picnics and all type of weird That's shit, Netflix, saying, Netflix and chill, man. We can't really go out together in the club. Too like, many niggas know her. You got to bop. <laughs> you got to bop. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> Unless you move out of London, you know what I mean? Probably got to catch her in, like, New Zealand or some shit, maybe Australia. Hopefully she don't know it's, nobody it's over there. It's not really the girl's fault either. Because let's say you 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 bag a bop, you're dating a bop now. Other dudes look at you and laugh. It's, but, it's bad. But she bro. did. <laughs> Lord. You know, it's just an industry. I could say the same for you. We could be out, and then if it's women like, are... I just fucked her last week. My homeboy fucked... Everyone fucked... Every, she spun the block like all of us. And you want to... And you want to wife her up. All right, bro, do you? As they be like. Or on you, want to take pictures nah, of that's different, time. though. How is it different? That's di no, that's different. Hey, as a dude, when it comes to, like, you know how women are attracted to status and money and fame. Yeah. Right? 
So it's like, they're going to be attracted to, oh, hey, oh, the same, blah, blah, blah. You know, when a bunch of dudes is trying to, is, is talking to you shit. like they know you, it's like, I'm thinking, yo, and my girl been around the block, like, yo, what's going on still? You know what I mean? Why so, is, like, why is everyone I like my girl name? low key. I don't like my girl knowing nobody but me. Why, why, why does everyone know your okay. name, girl? Yeah. Why do all men want their women just to basically be a nun, not speak to anyone, not upset with anyone, and just sit in the corner like a little good girl? So, body count's an issue for you. It's more where he's coming from is. Let's be honest, it's a little insecure. You're not okay with her talking to other men because you don't trust her. To only be with you, you think she's gonna cheat on you. That's where this roots from. Okay. What? Of course. Huh? Oh, so body count's an issue for you. What? Of course. What's it looking like? I'll tell you mine. Tell me yours. No, no, I actually first girl. A lady never tells. A lady never tells. I mean, a, a lady never tells the truth. What? No, a lady tells. It just won't be the truth. No, she doesn't tell. I say all this type of stuff with females. You lie, I could tell how much you're a liar. Me? Yeah, I don't think once you give me a number, give me a ballpark. Because women have, most women have a delusional ballpark that they tell you because forgot, they, they, they know men. So you'll tell me a delusional ballpark that'll make me, make you eligible to be in a relationship. I think because any woman that's just had sex with more than three people is a hoe to every guy. Like it really is. And that's You believe that too? No, I don't believe it. That's what I'm saying. It's so exhausting having these conversations. What's your number? What's your number? Body got no matter. Oh, I'll say it. <laughs> Them. Listen, a girl with one body will cheat on you. <laughs> Stop using that as a metric. If anything, the ones with more know what they want more. They've experienced more. They know what they like. They don't. They don't like. They won't waste your fucking time. A girl that's only a, one body, she don't know what she likes. She's just along for the ride until she don't like you anymore. On the whole, on the whole scale. No, mine's really good. No, no, like no, no mine's actually. No, no, like. Good. Let's move it from you. If a woman had sex with how many dudes, you'd be like, yo, that's a hoe. I know that women call women other slags, hoes, and stuff like that. But for me, it's not really in my vocabulary, so I don't think yeah, like that. I think the woman wants amount. to sleep with. There, there's, to okay. Uh, I'll meet you halfway. There's an extreme. If she has a crazy amount of bodies, you already know she's not going to be loyal. Demon, that's her prerogative. Like that. What? No, you trip. No, but if she does, that, that's down to her. You know, that, that's her business. But that's a whole though. It's cool. She just might be troubled. Because a lot of a lot of women that are promiscuous and hypersexual, it's a lot of it is from trauma. It's been from an experience right. and maybe it's sexual abuse and stuff like that. So a lot of it does mm -hmm. stem from something to make them behave that way for them to a be hypersexual. Is nympho, man. Yeah, so, but some, some women just like sex and there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I mean, it is wrong with it. it there's something wrong with it when you, you, your ultimate goal isn't just have random sex. If so you ultimate, have random sex? Uh, well, yeah, I'm having sex hopefully to try to there. find the right it's partner. A gatekeeper of sex. Why would you just fuck everybody? Y'all make sense? Yeah. It, it's our job to try to get what we could get. Your know, women are the gatekeeper. So if she letting everybody just enter her body, it's like, Yo, this, this is a low-value woman right here. You know what I mean? I don't even do the whole low-value, high-value thing, but it's like, you let anybody get up in you? You know what I mean? Us guys, yo. I guess the terms are like, uh, what's it called? Like, um. Fuck. We have to have low standards. We got to get it when we can. The majority yeah. of guys really ain't getting shit. So if a woman who could get any nigga in the world and a girl that's a six could usually, at least for one night, entertain the majority of men, if she's letting 50 niggas fuck her, what does that say about the 51st? If you the 51st nigga and there's been 50 dudes, it's a wrap, man. No. Right. It's you like, you, uh... you want to share her body counts or what? I'll tell you the truth. You tell me the truth, too. We don't have to be direct, but I, I want to be. I want to be in a range. I, think the ex is. <laughs> I want to be in a range. I feel like he's trying to be a hoe nowadays. He's getting his revenge. He's in the range. Yeah, you know, no yeah. one ever gets the body count out of me. Really? Mm -hmm. I think you fucked about like forty dudes. Really? Yeah. Okay. Does he actually think I've slept with forty men? 
Wow. So it's less a lot than of 40. Dates. You know what I mean? These dudes, they probably link up with you after spending some money. You look do like you, you also... Do you, so you, do you think I look like a person that can be impressed by money? It is kind of like a... Where most people body counts like a... If there's a high demand... But a, like a low given out of... What's the term? I don't know. There's high demand and like low that she's giving out, giving it up, then it's worth more. But if there's high demand and she's giving it out all the time, she's not worth nothing and that demand goes down. You see what I'm saying? I feel like you have a couple of sugar daddies and <laughs> tricks. Sugar daddies? No. Listen, I pay my own rent. But if you want to pay my rent, that's fine. <laughs> I see girls like you all the time in the United States. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, see, but you don't no, it's all the time. Like, yo, a pretty girl like you, let me tell you like this. Yo, I have I have a setup for a chick like you. I got a couple, like, foreign cars I don't even never bring out. I'm going to pull up in the Lambo or something exotic. As soon as I pull up to you, to you whether it's airport or whatever, your eyes light up. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, we're going to have a good time. I'm just going to give you the facade because I'm going to give you the lifestyle. A lot of women believe in the lifestyle. Yeah, so you think you're putting me as a lifestyle chick you're an attractive girl and you you, you know the value you're attracting this holes you're not running around here saying hey listen oh i'm just trying to connect with people spiritually you know how attractive you are how many people are watching, like that. what that might fit in the marketplace of dating and you know how to work it and if you tell me otherwise you're lying but i'm not lying i have no sugar daddies never been with a man for money would never use a man for money yeah that's cat <laughs> look at see it's the disconnect he only knows these Miami women. He, has he ever talked to a real woman? This I can't stand this Drake f group. They don't know real women. These people, you, these girls you hang around now, real women. Look at my face, it's not. <laughs> Honestly, do I look like a woman that uses men for money? Apparently so. Yeah, the comments, <laughs> yes, bitch. <laughs> yes, bitch. <laughs> yes. Let me see the comments, bro. Let me see the comments. She loves to preach the heavens about mental health, but makes a mockery of the idea of AK being bullied in high school. Typical. It's pretty hypocritical. I've never heard her say anything about mental health, though. Um, I ain't even gonna lie. AK had me wrong. Act. I'm stupid. Tell me your truth. I'll tell you how much you're a liar. That is a bar. That is a bar. Hold up. Tell me your truth. I'll tell you how much you're a liar. That's a bar, bro. Act was sent her. Ak was sitting her with her, but the whole time he was actually talking to us. Anytime a female, said, okay, this is a red flag. If a dude says female, he's a red pill weirdo. <laughs> he's too far gone. Anytime a female says ah, or that's so sweet, it thinks you're lame. It's really backhanded slap. Um. Okay. I try to do one or two meals a day. <laughs> Cap. <laughs> she says she wants a regular guy, but not one regular guy has been on the show. Hmm, it's almost like this is a show for views and money. I wonder why regular guy. That was the dumbest comment I've ever read. She said she would never use a man for money. That's why I knew this was all Cap. I was like, yo, she's a liar. You know what I mean? Let me tell you this. For me... Yo, you can't spit in the air and just like, and tell me it's rain when it fall down. You know what I mean? You got to at least just keep it a bean with me. Like, if you told me, yeah, I use a couple dudes for like, you know, I was down bad, pay my rent. One time I really need like, you know, my, 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 my Mercedes Maybach paid off and he paid this. Right. But if you say, a, you never use a dude for money. Does that mean the dude never paid for one of your meals ever? Yeah, I believe that. You one. never use a man for money. You a pretty girl with everybody offering you shit. You a liar. Liar. I might be a little bit jaded, though, because I've been doing a lot of... Yeah, things. no, you are. I no, no, promise no. you. No, no, no. Hey, listen, look, the thing with women is that, and I think this is the thing with you, too, you probably have used men for money not realizing you used them for money. No. You might be like, well, I, I kind of like no. this guy, and no. he's doing whatever to kind of help me out, but I see a future with him, but then you end up leaving, or you end up no. going to another guy. But you know what? I think that's different because I think over in the States, I think your culture is very different. Men don't Has a guy ever paid your rent? No. Never? No. I've had guys offer, but I've never had someone pay my rent. Your car note? No. Never. Nothing? Never. 
But I think, I don't know if it's an ego thing for myself. She might just be rich. I feel the moment a guy does something for you, he's entitled to ownership of you for something. It comes at a cost. Because a guy paying my rent, a guy paying for my car, whatever he's doing, it comes at a price. No one just gives you stuff for free. No one wants to just give you that life. Mm. I'm a little jaded when it comes to females. I'm going to be honest with you. Even me sitting down with you here is like a little bit new, odd. Yeah. I don't really do dates. No? Yeah, we, we dating the DMs. Dating it? No. We dating the DMs. By the time we link, it's straight. Come on. No. I don't even really do dates. We do. We date in the crib. Like we watching a movie. I can tell, bro. The movie don't even finish yet. Credits ain't even finish rolling yet. Piping that out still. Practice. You know what I mean? So it's not home, I'm not believing brother. that she not. She not just doing a bunch of dinner dates to talk. Like if a girl going a bunch of dinner dates, either she broke and she just trying to get some free meals, or she just trying to fuck niggas to get. He buy a Birkin bag, he buy Chanel, he paid a rent, he paid a car note, Jesus or she's just trying happens, to find the highest bro. value man possible, dating, which is... He's only dating girls in the DMs? That means you're only dating clout sharks. You're doing it to yourself, bro. That's why you're jaded. She's going to keep fucking everybody until she find the baller of the ballers. You get what I mean? So you don't take women out, you don't do a nice dinner, you don't get to know them. At this point... Somebody made this part of the video. You like know the video. more about me than I know about you. Yeah, so why don't you want to get to know them and take them for dinner? Appreciate you. Let's alive. explain it again. You know more about me than I know about you. And a lot of times my goal is like, I'm going to know more about you after we sleep together. So. How, would, how is that possible? You know more by having conversations with me. No, no, but, but, but I usually do the compatibility check. Okay. Oh, I got to fuck you to see what's up. Okay. You know I mean? Yes, sexual chemistry is important. Shit. Yeah. Very Interesting. True. So I usually don't Very date. Very true. I mean, I, I think a lot of people in the Western world don't date a lot. Instagram really ruined traditional relationships. My problem is, and I'm going to be honest brother. with you, I kind of thought you was like a huge feminist. No, I am. Y'all be hitting girls up in the DMs? I don't be doing that. <laughs> That's a little... But, but one of those broken be... feminists. The, 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 the feminists who... They want the traditional relationship, but they're operating on modern terms. The ones who, okay, treat me like a lady, but also I'm like this independent queen. So I'm broken. Yeah. Firstly, I'm not broken, and yeah, I am a feminist. It's like a Cardi B type of mentality. I don't cook, I don't clean, but give me the rain. The fuck is you talking about? You know what I mean? No, I'm not that. Well, that's what I kind of thought about you. No, I did. You know, when, when it comes to dating and courting, that's where it comes from, right? Yeah. You have chivalry and everything mixed into the into all of that. I think feminism has completely just shitted on that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I hate this. Like, what's the point? Like, everyone is just on this hookup culture. I want a marry. I want a married man. I want to marry a man. So, tell me a bit about your upbringing. No, I was born in a uh, Spanish town, Jamaica. Grew up in uh, Clarendon. Uh, moved to the United States like around like ten, eleven. Um, and been living there ever since. Uh, I lived in New Jersey, and I've been there, you know, kind of been building my um, media empire. But, you know, now I feel like it's a time to, like, travel, and that's hence why I'm even over uh, the U.K. Yeah. How are you finding the U.K.? I like it still. I like, you, you I'm know, scared I'm, to go to the U.K. Yeah, eat beans on toast. Realizing, like, the women over here is a little bit different than the ones in the United States. The ones in the United States are just straight whores. I'm telling you, man, like, yeah, no, I'm serious. Like, this is why I don't date. Because it's like, to Bro, find a woman that's kind of pure. Please. You know, even even the conversation please. of body count, it's not that it really matters to me that much. I'm not one of them petty guys. It's just that, like, like these women is, these women are whores. You know, they, they're they fucking indiscriminately like they're guys. So it's like, you know, when, when sex happens to be something that's not special for a woman, it's like, I can't take that woman serious. You know what I mean? It just happened to be a vessel that we just all gonna, you know? Yeah. I know these chicks be fucking, so I'm not... It's like this. It depends where you go. It's the type of women you're gonna find. You understand that, right? You understand how people go to the places where they enjoy being, right? If you go to a strip club and you talk to a girl there, she might be a fucking stripper, bro. <laughs> If you go to a library and talk to a girl there, she might be doing, she might be going to school. She might be getting her grades up, getting smart, 
Depends where you fucking go. Not bro. some unrealistic nigga who be like, yo, they gotta have five. If you go to 20, Miami Beach, if you don't fuck twenty Miami niggas, man, like girl. Jesus Christ, like at that point, you a hoe. You know what I mean? But a lot of these things is hoes, but it be reformers. You know what I mean? Like you'll you never know they fuck twenty five niggas or fifty she niggas. Might be a clout you know what I mean? I always, I always tell people this. Yo, a hoe in one town, she move a whole different zip code or a whole different state or parish, wherever you're from. She says she's a virgin. She only did two people. You know what I mean? Yeah, so that's one of the reasons, even now, I've kind of lost a little bit of faith in, like, either with relationships or just yeah. situations, period, you know? So, like, with your life, um, was you brought up on love or survival? What was that upbringing well, like? Love or survival? I would say both, though. Yeah? Well, I, I mean, it was, uh, like, my mom came over to the United States and... and she was trying to make a way because she, she divorced my dad. She was trying to make a way to get us over there. So with my grandmother, you know, um, wouldn't say I struggled that much, but it wasn't, you know, the road wasn't paved with, you know, gold. Yeah. But, uh, you know, we kind of made it through. But it was definitely, I would say, love and survival because, again, I grew up on the countryside of Jamaica. You know what I mean? I'm not one of them dudes who would just come out and say, like, I was from Kingston. No, we grew up running barefoot, playing soccer all over, you know what I mean? But... Uh, once we came to the United States, we, we took that as a opportunity to do better. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I took that opportunity, and I still take it to this day. I'm like, I don't want to fumble the ball or nothing like that. Yeah. You know? How about yourself? That's interesting. Um, about me, yeah, uh, uh, my mom, I've got a good relationship with both my parents, but it was different growing up. It was more like my mom done the best she could. She was a single mom. Um, and it's See, just... This is, show. Is, this, is this how every conversation goes? Like, it's like an interview, bro. You just, I wouldn't say it was I love or survival, but just one. It was definitely survival, but definitely a lot of love there. Like, even with my dad, just my dad just lived out of the area, but there was still love there and still that relationship there. So it's just this red a very culture. different dynamic. This is my problem with the red pill culture. It's very core. It's men trying to explain their experiences and their struggles in dating. That's very, that's good. But the road they take is not good. It it makes it a men versus women type of dynamic. And when you make it an us versus them dynamic, nothing will ever get solved. <sighs> I mean, I you think growing up, up, especially jaded. where I live, because I lived in a very predominantly white... you're not white famous, when you're jaded, you get no bitches, bro. You're going to be... If you area... So Imagine it, if Ak wasn't famous with all these chains and shit. What would he be right now? It was kind You're of like being the only like brown girl. Like I stuck out, but it's just so different now. And like the world, even where I live now, it's a lot more, di mo a lot more diverse. It's a lot. When you better. go too far down the you, red you pill, mm -hmm. which was white at first. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I need it's, to put up more bronzer. Do you feel like you've had it tougher than probably? Because I'm gonna be honest with you, like e even the type of girl I go out after is like. Your skin complexion, whatever. I think those are privileged women, to be honest. You think it's privilege? Of course. No, like, no. You're a light skinned girl, like, you go anywhere in the world, like, you're gonna win. No, do you it's know what? There's gonna be a bunch of niggas running after you, feel me? No, I, I hear it, don't get me wrong, because there definitely is a, like, a mixed race light skin privilege. But I feel like because people make this assumption that there's a privilege there, you don't get it. Because especially, you know, when you see things, it's kind of like, it's either everyone's very, pr like, on the white side of things, or it's very pro black and black excellent. So when you're mixed, you actually get the doors shut both ways because people just assume you're getting opportunities from both. So they actually close the door. Mm, okay, so okay. it's actually a lot harder to navigate. I don't know about that one. <laughs> right, so this is the come correct round. So I'm gonna judge you on the way that you answer these, just so you know. So my first question to you is, what is your thoughts on women in the OnlyFans adult industry? Whores. Whores. Oh, the straight horse. I still look at women in traditional. Uh, Listen, I'll say, if you are exposing your vagina online, it's a little crazy. <laughs> Traditionalistic type of uh, level. Once you put a price on yourself, you're on the shelf. It's over for you. Uh, a woman that I would take serious is priceless. So once, if you put two dollars ninety nine on your, uh, your body, it's over. For you. uh, I can't deal with it. Like, if people could see what I believe that should be earned to be seen for a price tag, you're finished. You know what I mean? But, of course, you know, everybody go make their, their living. Sometimes I usually look at OnlyFans models. Sometimes 
they got kids or they got other situations, they feel they're in a stuck position, they're probably they're sacrificing for for the next generation. But this girl asked uh, me, oh, "What if I made an OnlyFans? Would you like me?" I said. She said, "Would you be with me?" I said, "Hmm." I'll be with you as a manager, like. <laughs> Girl, I take serious. You got OnlyFans. You you selling yourself? Nah, I'm good. She asked me a question about somebody on OnlyFans. She's just like that. Man. She just won't sell her body, but she knows how good she looks. How she's does that gonna make me that look, out, brother? You get what I mean? So she's this is an interview just for to see how, what bill I'm gonna pay. You know what I mean? Okay, you won't get the mortgage. You won't get the car note. I'm just not that type of guy. You know what I mean? Like I'm I'm a we got to fuck on the first night type of guy, you know what I mean? And we flip it in the other side, you know what I mean? Uh, what's your thoughts on marriage? No, I'm not into marriage. Not into marriage? No. What do you mean you don't want to get married? Are you all right? I don't know. I, I live in the United States, man. Marriage is like a sucker's game, you know what I mean? What? Like, it's, it's, it's a game where, like, about 70% of them don't work. I wouldn't even, like, I'm, I'm a math guy. I would never even go into any type of dealings with people that 70% of them fail. You know what I mean? So marriage is not a thing I would do. I That's do believe fair. in being with an uh, individual long term, but marriage is not the institution I would kind of like get into. Really because someone you love each other that much, like why do you need to be married? You know, marriage was really established to be under the covenant of God. You know, it's soulless in the United States right now. Like they don't believe in God. They don't even believe in. They don't believe people in nothing. Want, people just want girls just want to get married because. Oh my God! Look at me! I'm married. Oh my God! Look at this ring! Oh my God! Like that's it's just validation. That's so, uh, like. marriage is not something that I would have my relationship with a woman be dictated by the state, yeah, by the government. Nah, never. But do, do I believe in being with one one person for life? Yes. But marriage? Fuck no. <laughs> Hell no. Interesting. What is a controversial opinion that you stand on? This is a thing they might try to get at me about a lot. I feel women are too coddled, man. You know, women, have, this whole feminist movement has talked about equality, but as soon as you criticize them, they try to use the, they try to use the same things that really has benefited them to try to uh, uh, dissuade everybody from even um, talking about them. So it's like women want equality, but really don't want equality. They want superiority. So... Yeah. Uh, I don't really believe that, you know, the feminist movement has really helped shit. I really think they've just hurt the relationship between men and women. Yeah. Okay, well, interesting. I say the feminist movement, when it started, helped a lot. <laughs> you can't deny that. Um, but now it, it has kind of morphed into something else. And it's kind of hurting itself. Um, it's so a snake eating itself. I heard that apparently you're misogynistic. What? Yeah. Yo, who told yes. you to stop it? Yes. You is gotta that explain true? that one. Oh, hell no, nah. I love women. Yeah? I don't fuck men, I love women. <laughs> like, yo, I could tell she been reading too much stuff on the internet about that. Like, yo, misogynistic. How'd I even fit into the mix? You know what I mean? It's like, yo, I've been nothing but a gentleman to you right here. When you talk about misogynistic, yo, let me tell you this. A girl like this, she listened to her friends. Already red flag. A girl who listened to her friends, her friends will lead you nothing uh, to nothing but being single. So already she asked me a question she probably seen from somebody else or heard from her little gay best friend or one of her other friends. No, 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 no. Red flag. This whole misogynistic thing is like, yo, put it like this. To be misogynistic, I would have to think that women are less than men. If anything, I think I'm more, um, I don't even know the term, but equalitarian. Like, I think we're both equal. Here's the thing when it comes to misogyny, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, but also, there's also another term called misandry, right? Where it's, you know, misogyny is supposed to be the contempt and, and, and disdain of women, but misandry on the women's side is supposed to be the, the contempt and disdain of men. I think we're both equal. I definitely think he's got, like, a fair few misogynistic traits. I feel like he was playing it cool because he wanted to come correct, obviously. The thing is, a lot of women say they want equality. You, you treat them like an equal. Put like this. The camera guy right there, if he does something, I'm going to talk to him like, hey. If you do something, I'm going to talk to you like, hey. When I talk to him, he going to realize it's two men talking. When I talk to you, they're going to be like, yo, why are you talking to the woman like that? So are we really equal then? Mm. If we're not equal, yeah. just let... You can be as equal as you possibly can be in terms of law, in terms of like how a human should be treated, but society... I don't know if it's possible to be 100% equal in terms of, like, just the simple facts of it. It's uh, uh, the very basic of, if a man does something disrespectful to me and I hit him, no one cares. 
But if I had a woman, I, it's crazy, right? Yeah. Let me know. We, I always tell people I'm down to play by any rules we got going on, but you got to tell me the rules. So if women are saying they want to be equal, I'm going to treat you fact equal to that. another man. Let you so know, if I speak about you. On a societal level, at least, men and women are treated very different. I'm going to speak about you the same way I speak about another man. Anything, right? But if you want to get special treatment, just let me know. I wouldn't say it's special treatment, though. I think it's more women, we have a softer, more feminine energy. So it's kind of like the way you might speak to a man is very different to how you'd speak to a woman. So essentially you're saying you don't want to no, the same No, no, I want the same you treatment. You don't want to equal But it's, I think just in general, like the delivery, like some people only hear things from certain ways, if that makes sense. Like I personally am a person that if you're shouting at me, I'm not going to I'm blunt to everybody. I'm blunt to everybody and I keep the same tone. Okay, well, that's fine then. Um, when I'm over that Hennessy, I'm a little high toned, but I'm high toned to everybody. So you're saying that I should whisper to you, but shout to the dude. It seem, That seems a little sexist to me. Sound like you're saying that I should be you know, aggressive to dudes, but keep it real soft to women. I, I don't think that's equality. What's equality to you? No, no, okay. That, that you articulated that well, so it does make sense in the sense of I probably sound like I'm contradicting myself. But see, 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 here's the thing with you, your logical. So, like, sometimes your emotions, it makes it with your logic, and you know, you, you yeah. Start... Okay, that was a little. <laughs> no, no, but, but ultimately, right? no, I definitely. You're a woman, you can't be logical, you're stupid. He sounded <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> like, come on now. <laughs> yeah. But... Hey, let me. She's an emotional chick, man, I could tell. She, she got a little logic to it, but I could tell she battling, she battling with it. But let me tell you, with a woman, she battling with it. <laughs> emotion always wins. Always wins, 100%. Tell you, this is the thing with you, you and can't most tell me women. That was not misogynistic. Is that you, you have a you have you have a logic bone going on. So when I'm telling you some certain type of stuff, you're not just emotionally reacting to yeah. it. Yeah. And you realize I'm not making I'm yeah. not saying bullshit. That's true. Um, why are you always arguing with people on the internet? No, nah, that being said, women are emotional as fuck. Fuck them all. I, they argue with me. I don't argue with them. I, I go with the motto, if somebody don't fuck with me, it's a problem with them. So, put like this. <laughs> I think we all have, you know, first of all, like, when you live in the United States, First Amendment is freedom of speech. So, for example, if I like what you're wearing, I say, hey, I like what Cheyenne's wearing today. She looks beautiful. It's a positive compliment. You'll probably like it. But if I don't like what he's wearing or she's wearing, I can say that too. Now, if you disagree right. with it, you can say whatever you want back to me. That's all fair. Right? right, I'm not upset at it. Usually, it's people who feel like they can control your pain, so they're trying to make it where, hey, you didn't say what I like, so now we have to. You can't tell me how I should think. You can't argue with my opinion. I'm not arguing with. I've never argued with someone to change their mind. Yeah. I've only argued to maintain what I. Think what you say. In my right. independence. So you know, sometimes I always tell people, I'm like, a lot of times people think they're going back and forth with me or they be for me. Really. They, they got to be for God because, yeah. like, I just say what I think stand and up. I let it go. If you feel bothered by it, you should probably, you know, go see a therapist or shrink or just talk to God. They could help you out. Yeah. Yeah. What makes you a man? I think me being someone who's a leader, mm -hmm. provider. I think me being someone who's stoic, someone who knows exactly what I want, where I, where I want to go, and someone who's willing to provide for not only the person I'm with, but also the, the family that I eventually want to bring to, you know, fruition. So I think that's the most important components of being a man. And, um, you know, uh, to even extrapolate from that also standing for something, you got to have some type of morals and codes. Yeah. If you're the type of guy who will go for anything, you fall for anything, there's no type of moral compass yeah. right there. Like, yeah. safe. You're not a man to me. got to make her but, safe. Uh, if you're if you're the opposite, I would say you're a man. Yeah, I I'd agree. Do you know what? I hear it. I feel like it was very on point. Yeah, Good very answer. on point Good for answer. what a man is. Do you ever live by the bros before hoes code or whatever that saying is? No, no, no. that's like some boondock shit. Like, no, I'm not with that type of stuff because put like this, you know, in, in, in a lot of times in your weakest moments or when you're sick. Your niggas ain't coming to come make soup for you, man. It's, it's always it's always your girl. Um, but like this, bros before hoes, it's a real thing, but it's like, it's not it's not when it's your main girl. It's like, it's just when you're just fucking around with right. women. It's in his name, bros before hoes. 
Are you really going to ditch me for this hoe you just met at the bar? Like, like come on, bro. Right, so it's like it? bros before hoes in terms of you're not going to betray your from. homies for some random girls you're trying to have sex with. But like, but like this, the connection a man has with a woman is way deeper than anything beyond uh, maybe the connection you have with your family. Yeah. So the, the bros before hoes shit is like some kind of was high school bachelorette or bachelor type yeah. of shit. But... Once you really lock in with a woman, it's like it's not bros before hoes. Like right. you're gonna protect like, your I've woman. I've married you for, I've married this girl for seven years. And you tell me bros before hoes. What the fuck are you talking about? I have three kids with this. What are you talking about? This is my family. <laughs> no, or anything else. But um, I understand that mindset is just juvenile. At least once you get up there in age. Yeah. No, listen. I don't care what he's saying. He's definitely on that vibe and that flex of bros before hoes. Look at him. Have you ever cheated? Shit. Pump or clot. Yes, then. Listen, I knew he cheated before the question even came up. Are we, are we going? I haven't. Are we, cheers, by no, the way. No, I haven't. We Don't both cheated. I I'm not, no, I was not cheesing to cheating, by the way. Right. No, no, Finally, no. We got a lot no. of her. <laughs> we got her, okay? You cheated. Oh. Never. Cheated on a diet, but not a person. Uh. Yeah, you know, not something I'm the most proudest about, but, um, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I think the industry I've been in has been like, you know, it corrupts you in a little bit where it makes you feel like it's it, it's a little bit more okay. You know, not saying no, it's, it's right. It's not okay. I don't know why I nodded. I was like, cheating is never okay. Well, well you cheated too. So I have not cheated. You, stop it. Me? Cheating? Nah, she definitely cheated though. You know what I mean? Like, yo, know, she, she even cheers with me. She's like, yo, come on, we both cheaters. You know what I mean? Listen, a pretty girl, <laughs> cheat, the prettier the girl, crazy. the more they fuck. Okay, trust me. Like, I used to think different. Like, oh, the prettier the girl, the more they actually save themselves. The prettier the girl, the more dudes approach them, the more they see things that they're going to be falling global to, the more she fuck. She's cheated. You know, unfortunately, I'm not proud about it, but I have to. But she's a cheater too. A cheater knows a cheater. Yo, I'm gonna be honest with you, pretty girls cheat the most. No, they do not. So, yo, let me tell you this. The ugly chick that y'all know, they don't be fucking dudes. Like, that much. Like, they lucky when they really getting some good dick. A pretty girl, they getting offered dick like it's candy, like when they kids. Like, no. If you're really trying she to get a chick. Like, she gets hit on like five days, a, I mean, five times a week walking down the street. Solid. Like, what the fuck? You gotta go for the less attractive girl, the mid girl. You know what I mean? The prettier she is, she coming in. <laughs> Yo, you you ain't never special to her. She find another one of you like this. I know you cheated. You might have thought it was cheating. Because women will... You see, men will face what cheating is up front. Women will be like, well, me and him, we weren't together. He said we were taking a break. That's why... I, oh, I'm going to probably... He said right here. Hold up. I know you cheated. You might have... We'll face what cheating is up front. He said they were placed like this. That's why you gotta be irreplaceable. You can't be, uh, I mean, you can't be, you I hate saying we're game. It's so cringe. You just gotta be yourself. Be unique. Women will be like, well, me and him, we weren't together. He said we were taking a break, so I was sucking his dick over here. Like if you're woman, replaceable like that, I mean, it's, you're a carbon copy of every other dude. She's really crafty to, with it, but like you, you absolutely cheated. I'm the not best compliment I ever got was, "I've never met someone like you." Thank you. Thank you. Been in an on, you've been in an on and off relationship where you know damn well you and that guy was going to get back together, but you went and go suck to No, another. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. No, no not for me personally. Um, just Yo, I, I hate when women say that because. Y'all all act like she said, she said, if, no, I'm not okay, trying, if you're trying to think if, I'm if, trying if a to... man is down to say he cheated, right? Thank you. We not cheating with other men, we cheating with women. How come no woman ever cheated in the life? No, women do cheat. I'm not saying they don't. You're I just, just haven't. You didn't. No, I haven't. I really haven't. What's the point? I just leave the relationship. Like I really wouldn't. He handled it really well, actually. What would you say has been your hardest challenge in life? I don't know if it's necessarily my hardest challenge in life, but 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 in probably this chapter of my life is probably looking beyond sometimes the hate and, and misunderstands about myself. It's only, you know, what fame and like popularity has done is that I've read things about myself that I didn't know. I've read 
people's opinions about myself that I was shocked by. And I always told people, I'm like, I never had a hater before I got popular because I've yeah. never seen someone just say, I hate that guy yeah. without them knowing me. But that's what that brought. So at, at first I was like really, I was really gullible to like reacting to it. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Like I was really upset. And peep, I allowed people to kind of like alter DJ, my mental funny. state yeah. and my like, you know, like my piece or whatever. But uh, you said this takes on this you know, Drake shit. Lo and behold, and, and thank God, like Ooh. I think over time, I'm just like, <laughs> you just can't control it. Yeah. So, so how, like, I, I've gotten over it. So how how do you deal with that? And is like mental health a thing for you? No, of course. Hey, you, you know, I think for anybody who's, especially if you're in the, in the public eye, but even if you're not, like, just having people have opinions about you, or having people say things about you, there used to be times I used to be like really upset. Yeah. And you know, kind of like. Even times where people may have not known it, like you kind of start feeling sad or whatever the case is. But uh, I think over time, like, you know, at least for me, just, just kind of time heals, but also you kind of figure it out that it's just not real. You know what I mean? Yeah. And also, if you feed into negativity, it's always going to be negative. Yeah, that's true. Right? I'm the guy who will see like 100 positive comments and see that one guy who said the thing that triggered me. I'm like, yo, this motherfucker, he got me. <laughs> but um, over time, like, I don't care about it. Yeah, that's good. Which is, is an acquired taste, so. Yeah, honestly, mental health is no joke. And I think more men need to be open about it, so it's nice that he's able to actually say that. Same type of chicks who ask you these questions who, you know, pop up to your crib at 3 a.m. in the morning trying to break in, you know what I mean? Yeah, so. Yeah, she did I'm just do it. Mental health's not a joke. You just wonder if she's crazy with that, bullied. you know what I mean? I, I'm good. Like, most men are straight. It's these women, they're really off, they're off the Richter scale, you get me? Right, so at the start of the day, I asked you to write an assumption of me, yeah. so I'm going to tell you mine. But before well, I tell right. you mine, I'm going to say, like, you're actually so much nicer in person. Really? You're actually very handsome and you have really nice eyes. Do you know what? He's actually a lot better looking in person. He's got really warming eyes. So don't judge me from what I'm about to say and what I thought about you. Ooh. <laughs> Yo, you just gave me the best compliment. Oh, you about to go crazy. All right, go yeah. ahead, girl. So my assumption of you was that you're probably full of yourself Ooh. with a huge ego and you're most likely to be very misogynistic and that you don't get women and you probably use your money and success as your personality trait. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> no, I get it, I get it. Hey, hey, listen, to be fair, I think that's a fair assumption if you've never met me. If you've only seen what people have said about me or maybe just Damn, seen clips. This is what I thought about you. She came heavy at him. And I and you know, watched you for a bit. I said, I definitely know she's stuck up. You know, a, a pretty girl getting approached by a lot of dudes at a point, usually women develop that stuck up personality to kind of even wean off yeah, and like, leave me alone. you know, get a couple people out of there. <laughs> then I said, well, I know you date a lot of guys, which <laughs> promiscuous. I, I do. I'm sorry. That's what I thought. It's my assumption. I'm sorry. And then I said, this is this is probably the most important one. I said, my assumption was that you like what you claim to hate. For example, the type of guys that you probably preach against, those are the same type of guys you give a chance to. So, you know, I, I know that a lot that. about she women. They'd be like, hey, listen, yeah, I want it's a good a guy. Really, I don't that. want this guy because he's a piece of shit, blah, blah. The next guy she's with is the piece of shit. She's not, never given a good guy a chance. Next thing I assume You've about got a whole you, list. No, of course. I got two more. <laughs> I, said, I said she's expensive. I could tell. Like, I feel like birthdays and holidays, you want designer bags, you want these luxurious trips. You probably one of them girls who talk to your other girlfriends about, yeah, someone's so paying my bills. Yeah, so expensive. You're an expensive girl. Next thing is, uh... Why has my man got a list? Like, that was a scroll. Do you know, it was this and this and this. Wow. I was like, she's definitely the feminist who wants traditional men, but she doesn't want to be traditional. Interesting. That's like a new, like, epidemic happening with, like, a lot it of women. It is an who... epidemic. It's like, oh, you want me to pay for everything? You want me to take care of you, protect you, die for you? But you can't fold the laundry? They're like, hey, listen, I'm a feminist. I want a traditional man, but that traditional man now has to accept me for me being progressive. So I'm going to be, I'm this boss chick. 
I could do what I want. I could live and act in a certain type of way, but you need to still treat me like a lady, which just doesn't usually match up. So that's what I thought about you. Yeah, well, thank you for your assumptions. You proved some of right, them girls that want to use and me. And as did you like think. Slaves. So thank you for a nice date. Thank you. That was a good video. Do you know what? Not a lot of riz happened. Oh, it went a lot better than what I thought. I, I thought there'd be more riz. I had a good time. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I thought the whole thing was cap, man. Like, I think she just kind of gave me an image, man. Capping the whole time. Cap. I did too, Loki. Do you know what? I actually would. The, with the amount of cap she gave, probably like, yo, I'm, I'm just in it to smash. You know what I mean? I just want to add to this. I want to be the 51st. You get what I mean? It's like, at this point, it's like a U.S. president. You know what I mean? You know, this is Donald Trump was, what, 46 or whatever. I just want to get onto the list. That's it. You know what I mean? But she lying too much already. If she, if she came to me genuine, Probably could date him a little bit, but she lied. Do you know what? I felt like we actually got on. I feel like he's got a nice vibe, and we actually had levels of conversation where I can tell he's got depth, depth to him. So it'd be nice to. Alright, guys, like the video. I'll see y'all.